seven days to come up with a compensation plan. In if, fact, from today, yes. we're giving them seven days to come up with a compensation plan because enough is enough. You cannot continue as you were doing before. We, are all, we, are, we have 2023 is around the corner. If we don't come up with our correction plan, Nigeria will end up like these other smaller countries. Where the youth, we have, we have come out in force that we have to start correcting the system. So some persons in the higher authorities cannot just go ahead with their own personal plans and the cause of negligence and the rest, and nothing is being done. The agencies are looking at them smiling. No. Thank you. Yes, to get our compensation. We are moving them in full. So we are telling, we are, we are calling on the federal government to direct an MPC to compensate those people that their cars were damaged, their machines were damaged due to this circulation of contaminated fuel. If, if not, the issue of the NSAS is a child play. Things must change, and it's the right time we start to exhibit our grievances. In a civilized community and in a civilized country, people take responsibility for their fault. You cannot come with a contaminated fuel to Nigeria and you say that you need 200 billion to clean it up and nobody is held responsible. Even an MPC, the people that were called that said that those people brought in the company that was listed, they all came out and they refuted it, that they were no part. Why is an MPC shading those people? Why is an MPC shading those agents? Why is an MPC shading the corporate? So we have decided to take over all their facilities. If they don't compensate Nigerians, or come up with a better strategy to compensate, we have decided to go to all the outlets with the, the vehicles that we have we are, we are destroyed and harmed because of this contaminated fuel. Independent and Corrupt Practice Commission and other relevant agency of the government intimating them of the road and unending decay within the rank of government and urge them to purge the system of these saboteurs. As we await their action, we have taken further step and are strategizing to ensure that the right thing is done. To this extent, we demand the immediate resignation of the state, the Minister of State for of Petroleum, Timmy Priya Siva, and also the Group Managing Director of NMPC, Melekar, for the immeasurable damage and hardship inflicted upon Nigerians by this importation of contaminated PMS. For failure to perform this constitutional duty to the public, we further demand that the DOA tender on reserve apologies to the entitles it always accused of importing contaminated fuel to cover for their failures. The economic lost and damage caused by their actions are too grievous to, forgone, to be forgone. Hence, we demand that the Minister of State for Petroleum and NMPC Management come clear of the havoc caused by this act of recklessness that has not only caused the economy loses an hardship, but also put lives and businesses in Nigeria at risk. Not to be fit to address the nation, to address Nigeria. At what point do we get the, the product, the contaminated product? Who brought it to Nigeria? Who supervised it? At what point did they left the depot to our various stations. stations? At this moment, who is paying the 200 and something billion naira? billion. Other whose, whose account? Is it the masses or from the Nigeria budget? If so, if those people think that our money is for jamboree, they cannot wake up and do what they like. We, the well-meaning Nigerians, we have no choice than we assist them by blocking them not to get access to their offices. We have one million and one Nigerians who can do the job better than they themselves. As it is now, 
The contaminated products, what do they take? Where do they take it to? Where are these? Where are the products? They are busy giving us fictitious quotation. Fictitious quotation with with numbers of uh, PMS liters they brought to Nigeria. Yes, we have seen little in few of our cities that damage vehicles and machines in this country. At the end of it all, the NFC is not saying anything. Thinking that Nigeria is as usual. This time around, we will tell that that can keep up the ladder.